Welcome to Hennessy CCTV. Now, guys, I am so, so frustrated right now. Um, I literally recorded my match review. It was about 15 minutes long. It just decided to delete and cut half of it out. God knows what's happened. Um, so we're starting again. We're doing a new fresh one. Um, but yeah. Also, guys, I just want to say apologies. I look a mess. I am so tired right now. Um, it's been such a busy and long day, but it's been great. But um, yeah, I'm shattered. So I will be heading to bed soon. Um, but yeah, it's match day tomorrow. So yeah. Um, but anyways, guys. So obviously enough about that. Let's go on to the match preview. So obviously we take on Wolves at home in the Premier League at five past two tomorrow so guys we all know it's going to be a really really tough game for sure and um, wolves are sitting seventh in the table they're doing really well this season and um, let's be honest we're all really impressed by them we're shocked they come up from the championship um into this new season and they've done really well no doubt about it um they're getting some really good results especially against the big teams and they're proving everyone wrong um when we took them on at the molyneux it was such a test for us we obviously got beat it was it was so difficult wolves are such a good team and i just expect it to be like that tomorrow at home to be honest um it is a very nerve-wracking game it's very worrying and i really don't know what the outcome is going to be from this one um especially after as i said what happened at the molyneux in december um i was there it was a really tricky game um they played so well they were very organized and um, they tried to get us on the breakaway all the time every time we made a mistake the punishers for it it was just so good they were very alert very aware and that's why they ended up getting the three points and we didn't um so yeah it is very worrying um i do think though that the better at home than they are away so hopefully that plays to our advantage tomorrow um obviously we're at Stamford Bridge, we've got the home advantage and obviously they're travelling. So fingers crossed that makes a little bit of a difference. Because I do always think it's hard for the players to go to the Molyneux. It's a very, very hard away ground to go to. They've got good home support. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed that plays to our advantage. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I'm just very, very nervous about this game. Um, I do think it's going to be very tricky. Um, we're going to have to be very alert and just go for it, you know. It's pretty much as simple as that. Now, obviously, we haven't been doing as bad this season um, of recent. Obviously, we've beaten Fulham. We beat Dynamo Kiev on Thursday. We beat Tottenham. Obviously, against City, it wasn't like we got thrashed. It was obviously just a penalty um so we haven't been doing terrible of recent but i do think like this game is going to really show where we're at at the moment um obviously everything's gone around after well in the lead up to the city games sorry out etc etc um a lot of people have been quiet about that recently considering we've won um our games of recent but as i said the it will be a very a big test for us tomorrow and really show how we're doing as a team tomorrow. Um, especially against Wolves, you know, it'll it'll be become very clear. And I feel as though Wolves are one of them teams. Ooh. Sorry guys, my camera just slipped out of my hand. Um, this is much preview, just isn't going to play. It's not my night at all, is it? What's wrong with my camera? Anyways, as I said, um Wolves are doing really well and They'll expose our weaknesses tomorrow. The side that will do that, and that is a horrible feeling. And um, but what weaknesses there is there, they will expose because they're a team like like that. And I think they're going to be very organised tomorrow. You know, summer. I think they're going to turn up very defensive to Stamford Bridge. I think they're going to sit back. Um, and I think they'll just play it out and try and catch us on the breakaway. That's what I expect. Might be very different. Um, but yeah, I think they're going to be very defensive. I don't think they're going to play too attacking, especially away from home. Uh, but yeah, they've had a, a little bit of a blip of recent. They've had a big mixture of results. Um, so anything can happen, you know. We're a bit unpredictable at the moment. Yeah, we've been winning recently, but who knows? Harry's job was on the brink a few months weeks ago so just you just never know um but yeah anyway so guys i'm gonna run you through my predicted starting 11 for tomorrow so guys in goal i'd go for kepa standard usual um obviously he played against dynamo kiev on thursday um and yeah i'd play him again tomorrow now my back four just before i say who i'd who should captain the side i'm just gonna say this i did actually look on the chelsea twitter today and i couldn't find the press conference i don't even know if there's been one and um, so i'm not sure if as up for selection or not because against dynamo kiev he didn't start and he wasn't even on the bench so i'm not sure and um, so my back four would be as as captain as long as he actually 
is available, but if not, it's Alpha Costa. And then I would go for um Rudiger, Christiansen, and Emerson Palomero. Um, I think give David Lewis a rest. Christiansen is an amazing player, obviously. And the reason I'd give Alonso the rest as well, Alonso hasn't been doing too bad of recent. He's been slowly creeping his way back into the team. However, when you're playing a Against a team like Wolves, you can't afford to make any mistakes whatsoever because they will honestly just take every chance they can get. We can't risk that tomorrow. And that's no disrespect to Alonso. I won't be heartbroken if he's starting, but I just think we need that reliability. Yeah, Emerson hasn't had the greatest game. I think it was against Fulham. Um, but I think we do need to start Emerson um, tomorrow. That's my opinion anyway. Let me know down below your thoughts and opinions on that, guys. Moving further up the field into defensive midfield, I would go with N'Golo Kante, Ruben Loss's cheek. Um, and playing alongside Barkley. Um, obviously, Kante should start amazing, as usual. He always starts in the starting 11. Um, and against a team like Wolves, I'm really excited to see what Kante can do. He's got that little bit of pace and intensity, you know? Um, let's hope he can run rings around the Wolves players. Um, but Ruben Ossichig needs to start tomorrow, guys. He's such an amazing player. There's no reason why he shouldn't be on that Um on that start 11 team sheet tomorrow. He assisted um, Callum to my joy's goal the other night. He hit the bar and nearly scored himself. Um, and every time he's had a... Well, every time he's had a chance to play um, this season in different competitions, whether that be starting the starting eleven or brought on as a substitute, he's delivered. He's done really well or he's contributed to the team really well. Um, players like that, I feel are like... Sometimes you see... The Chelsea team don't really play as a collective sometimes. But I feel like Ruben Loftus-Cheek is a player that's a little bit like the glue to the team. I feel as though he brings the team more together as a whole. Obviously, it's like the captain does that a little bit. But like it's players like Ruben Loftus-Cheek and like Christiansen and Callum Son of that like kind of bring that team as to collective. Now, I know it sounds silly um, to say that Callum um, Ruben Loftus-Cheek is like the glue to the team, but I do think he holds us together as a collective more. That's my thought. Um, I do. I just think he's got that good... He's even got a little bit of leadership in him, you know. That's what I think anyways. Um, so, yeah, i definitely start him. He needs to start. And, again, I wouldn't start with Kovacic or Jorginho. Maybe bring them on as subs. But, again, we need that reliability. And I know that him, alongside Kante and Barkley in defensive midfield, can provide that. The reason I've gone for Barkley is in a game like this, you need a powerful player that isn't scared of anyone um, and... Barkley's that player. He he just does it, you know. Um, and sometimes we see that Kovacic can struggle in the final third to deliver. So I just feel like we should definitely be starting Barkley. In midfield, I would go with Eden Hazard. Um, obviously, in a game like this, we need one of our best players out there. And I would go with also Callum Hudson-Odoi. Callum Hudson-Odoi, again, amazing player. Regularly scores, scored the other night. Let's keep that ball rolling for him, you know? We need to get that game time. Us Chelsea fans are getting so frustrated, especially on Twitter, Um, every time he doesn't start. He should be starting tomorrow. Now, if Pedro or William were given a chance, great, because they played amazing the other night. However, Pedro doesn't take every chance he gets. And against a team like Wolves, you need to, or they'll punish you, you know? You need to take every chance you can get against Wolves, or it just won't happen for you. That is exactly what happened at the Molyneux. I was on the front row for that, I saw really clearly. We were missing so many opportunities and chances, especially Alvaro Morata did, um, even though it's not here anymore. But he was missing so many perfect opportunities and chances, and... Every time chance he didn't take, and then obviously they won. So it just doesn't work. We need to have that reliability. Um, so yeah, obviously Pedro did deliver against Dynamo Kiev, but he missed about four of the chances. So we need that reliability. Um, and then up front, I'd go with Higuain. Um, again, Giroud, obviously an amazing striker, but I'd definitely start Higuain. Higuain was rested against Dynamo Kiev, so he probably will be starting. Um, so yeah, that's my starting 11. So he, um. Kepring goal, back four is um, Azpilicueta, Christiansen, Rudiger and Emerson. Defensive midfield, N'Golo Kante, Ruben Nostic, um, and Barkley. Midfield, Hazard, hudson Adai, Striker, Higuain. So that's my start 11 for tomorrow, guys. And so, yeah. 
So, guys, my score prediction for tomorrow is a scrappy 2-1 Chelsea win. Um, you know something? I'll take anything tomorrow. I love to see a good game of football. I love it when, obviously, a good performance and display is put on. But, you know something? Just get the job done tomorrow, you know? It's just going to be one of them games where we just have to push through and get the three points. Um... Or we might shock everyone. Wolves are a hard team to beat. We might shock everyone. We might just go and beat them 2 or 3 nil. Who knows? Um, I doubt it. But anyways, I just I think we just need to get the job done and just go for it. Because as I said, it's going to be very difficult to fly through it. I'm saying we might win 2 or 3 nil. That would be a dream. But I don't think we're going to keep a clean sheet against Wolves. As I said, I do think they're going to play defensive. But I think they'll get us on the breakaway. Or they'll just... Yeah, they'll seek us out somehow and get a goal. They all they'll nick it off us. Um, but yeah, I just yeah, I just want us to get the job done. I don't think, as I said, it's gonna be a glamorous game against Wolves at home. I just don't think it will. Um and yeah, and as I said, I'm I'm not too bothered. The boys yeah, obviously I wanna see a good game of football, etc. But I just want to see us just get the three points, what whatever it takes against a team like Wolves. Um, it's not going to be anything too exciting, I don't think. But let's just see. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please like, come subscribe. Let me know down below all your pre-match thoughts, your score predictions, your predicted team lineup. Guys, I will be at Stamford Bridge tomorrow. I will be vlogging tomorrow. Um, so if you are around Stamford Bridge, um, please make sure to come and vlog if you want to. I love getting you guys on. Um, it's great to always hear different um, fan opinions, thoughts and perspectives. Um, this vlog well the vlog will hopefully be up um when i get back to derby at midnight tomorrow um well i get back at to midnight so hopefully it'll be up around 1 or 2 a.m but if it isn't it will be up on monday um when i was at the carabao cup final i got back from london really late um but it did and i had to put it up the next day but it was a half an hour vlog and it took a while to edit but hopefully i'll get my vlog edited on the train home from london to derby tomorrow night so i can upload it when i'm back in derby for you guys to watch um on sunday night well early hours on monday on monday morning or whatever um but yeah i'll get it up as quickly as possible and so make sure to stay tuned for that and yeah, see you all at Stamford Bridge tomorrow. I can't wait. Let's hope it's nice weather as well. I'm really excited to make the day of it. And so yeah, see everyone at the bridge tomorrow. Up the child. Thanks. Night, everyone.